Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Susan Lynn. I'm a psychic and a medium. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Tonight, I'm super pumped and excited to have Sybil Harmony here. Uh, you guys, if you don't know Sybil, you're missing out, right? She does political videos. She does, is an amazing healer, to be honest with you. Just an amazing energy healer. Thank you so much for joining me. How are you today? I'm good. It's not me. I'm just a channel. I... <laughs> Yeah, but I'm I'm good. I'm happy. I'm really excited to be here with Susan Lynn, the most I mean, yeah, you're awesome. So I'm just a channel too. We're just vessels. We just we just try to be good vessels. That's basically it. But before I we do of service, I'm here to serve. That's right. And and if you guys want to to know more about her stuff, she has a, a channel here on YouTube under Civil Harmony, and her website is civilharmony.com. So you can find her and check out her her awesome classes and things that she's offering. Okay, we are going to get started because you guys know me. I like to just dive in. And the first thing I want to do is say thank you, Terry, for that super chat. And I want to say thank you to Black's Bucket Kitchets. I, I have no idea how to say your name, but thank you so much. And we'll just start with your question because it's the question on everybody's mind. <laughs> will the Supreme Court take up the immunity case? And if so, will they rule? Um, how will they rule? And when will we know? I'm sure. I mean, I've read on this. I think I've got a political video coming out tomorrow that is for four peppers spicy. I'm just I don't know what happened. I was so out of out of just control in this video, my whole neck was red. So just you know, wear your crash helmet, your goggles, and your earmuffs when you watch that video. It's coming out tomorrow. Um, what do you think, Sybil? Do you think the Supreme Court is going to take up the immunity case? Uh, yeah. What? <laughs> okay. And I'm, I'm pulling a card here. Okay. Um, All right. Well, I feel like if they do, it's going to be. Uh, a, a open. I see a sign open. I feel like Kavanaugh. I, for some reason, I see Kavanaugh open and then closed. I feel like they're going to do something quickly, and it uh, may not. Um, I, I I don't think he's going to be immune. I don't think so either. Mm -mm. No. So if they do, at first I didn't think they were going to take it up. Now he's asked them. Yeah. It doesn't matter if they take it up or not. He's not going to be immune. This I don't think the Supreme Court would ever give up their power. They're not going to give up their power to some potential president who wants to be king. So I don't see that happening. However, this is the word I used in my video today that's coming out tomorrow. Chicken shit. They're chicken shit. So they're not going to stand up to him. So, you know, uh -huh. I think they might kick it back down and then there might be some kind of like rumblings or delays or, yeah. you know, the whole idea is to delay anyway, right? That's the name of the game. Yeah. I feel like they, I, I was embarrassed when I was listening to that 14th amendment and I know that, you know, they probably weren't going to uh, take them off the ballot, That's but true. I just feel like it's, it's, they're just obviously cowed and they don't want to, I mean, it just, it just was embarrassing to me. I'm like, how are we arguing that a person who created an insurrection right. who's a criminal can't be taken off the ballot? Right. I mean, how did he, that even happen? And they're like, well, uh, um, I was just like, oh my God. And then the fact that Thomas was even there and spoke I, I, because his wife was involved, he's he didn't recuse himself. It was just amazing yeah. to me. It, but it, I knew it, I knew that was going to be happened. But it just pissed me off. It just like, <laughs> are you kidding me? That's what kidding? happened to me. This is like cuckoo land. That's what I happened think. to me in this video. I'm telling you, this morning I was totally zen, y'all. I was totally zen, and I did y'all's questions, and I turned out being like, ah! you know, like literally crazy. Yeah. I'm like, oh my god, I'm not doing yeah. that. I had the hardest time reading on the 14th amendment because it just kept, I'm like, okay, is it going to the States? And then no, is it going to Congress? I, I, I feel like they might try to do something like that. Well, they're going to take them off, but it, you know, and they're going to do that again with this. I feel like there's going to be some thing about it that I don't know. I don't feel like a clean, always oh, immune or not, but basically he's not. They'll kick it back down. They can't. 
because just, he'll, he'll he'll take over their job too. He, they I know. know that. I know. They'll, they'll be gone. He'll dismantle. You know, Bibi Netanyahu tried to dismantle his Supreme Court or change their powers too. So yeah. They, yeah. they see the writing on the wall. And I think Harvey's right here. It's all about the delay. It, you know, and this okay. is what I got from my guides today. An, an hour delay is better than nothing, right? They'll take a day, a week, a month. They'll take whatever little delay they can get because that means that they have one more hour to run their scheme and do their thing, you know? So, yes, I agree, Danielle. If it was Obama, it wouldn't be an issue. If it was any of us, we would already be in jail. We'd be under the jail by now, you know? Um, so yeah, it's, it, it, I, I feel your pain. So it's, it feels like we're in a kangaroo court. We're in a kangaroo, a country. W what is this? It's a mockery basically of this, of our constitution and, and, and the amendments, but we're going to, we're going to, we're going to prevail. We're going to prevail. Not before we all get heartburn and chew our nails off and all those other things, but we're going to prevail. Yeah. I don't see him being immune. There's going to do some funny thing with it or, or something. They're they're afraid of the, the you know the wrath of, of of 45. They don't really want to stand up. I'm like, then why are you there? <laughs> I'm like, it's so, point. so you can get donors to give you cash for the the billionaire to be owned. I mean, like, what are they doing there? I just was like. Oh my God. Okay. But well, I, I do feel like the appellate court, is that the appellate court? Will, I don't know. But one will, of the courts is going to try to drag their feet and hang it up, you know? Um, yeah. And, and that, so forewarned is forearmed. Everybody knows that now we know what the game is. Like, I feel like as long as you know what the game is, when you see the game being played, you, you don't have to get upset about it. Cause you know, this is why they're playing the game, but you also know, that we've got Biden and everybody in his administration doing everything they can. I mean, look, uh, despite everything Trump has tried to do out of office, he hasn't really succeeded. You know, we're really doing fairly pretty darn good, especially yeah. if you judge us by the stock market. If uh, nothing else, I mean, there's more jobs. There's just, just all the all the quantifiers are good. So, yeah, well, the, um, I feel that Thomas would be okay with him getting back in as president. I feel like Alito, maybe, but not really, because he knows that 45 would control him and could crush him. Like he crush, he destroys everybody. I mean, you don't have to be a genius to figure out if you get involved with him, you're going down one way or the other. You're, you're living under his thumb or you're going to go down because you're going to be asked to commit a crime or go to jail. That's what's yeah. going to happen. And so the others, Kavanaugh, Amy Coney, Barrett, Gorsuch, they don't want him in there. They no, I don't. Know that. They don't say that. And of course, the liberal justices don't want him in there. But that's only at best if Alito went with, well, okay, we'll, you know, so, you know, we'll go along with this. Uh, you know, he decides to go with with Thomas on on. I just feel like you know they're supposed to be partisan. There's, I mean, they're supposed to be neutral and just follow the law. But I really feel like that's, that's how I'm seeing it. I don't feel like they are, but they're, they're, you know, I, I just, I don't feel like, I know people are worried because there is a Republican court, three appointees by Trump, but I don't feel like they're going to stand by him and help him break laws and make him no. immune. No. It's just no. not going to happen. No, it's not going to happen. I think a lot of these people like the justices and hopefully any potential attorney that he can still hire can see the writing on the wall, right? Like this is a, like you said, if you, he's the third rail. If you get into his energy, you're going to go down with him. It's like a, like some kind of like vortex into the yeah. black hole of nothing. Um, and Sandy Adi says, uh, says, uh, feels like the energy is coming to a head in every possible way, politically, spiritually, astrologically. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you've been working on grounding. Great job. But uh, can we do a download to release some tension? Do a download to release tension. I'm not sure what you mean by download. Really, the grounding is what you want to do. But this is the energy expert sitting right next to me. Uh, Sybil, what do you? What would you suggest people do to deal with this mount? You know, the eclipse is coming. The eclipse yeah. is coming. The eclipse yeah. is coming. Yeah. So what, what, what we are in? What? 
what can people do? Yeah, what we are in now is the time of the, without sounding, with the purification, the awakening. That's why they don't want you woke. Because a lot of the population is still programmed by fear and, you know, and given disinformation. When you can think for yourself and you're not programmed by fear, then you're, that's why they don't want you woke. For us, we're already woke or awakened like that. We are awakening. But we're going through this time energetically where we are part of what we're doing here is clearing out all of our history. And a lot of it is we're healers without, we're like, we're unpaid healers. We're healing the collective with, but just by being here. But so to do that, to be in this energy, we really need to be grounded. Um, some people like yourself, you're, you're talking with spirit and you're doing whatever you do to connect with. Some people do uh, prayer, some people do meditation. So I do both. Mostly I do meditation, but I also do energy healings and grounding. So we really need to be grounded. You have an energy body. You have like a grounding cord, kind of like feeling safe, just being like aware. Okay. Like being mindful or being aware, like, am I conscious? Am I like in my body? Calm, breathe, calm down. And that is hugely helpful when you're just aware of like, okay, how am I, am I feeling scared? Am I nervous when I watch something on TV and, you know, or the news and just realize that it's supposed to be a wreck and falling apart right now because we're going to start something new and better where we have a world where children are taken care of, where there aren't these horrible wars, where not where it's ever going to be perfect, but way better than way, you know, day and night from this. So that's why people are talking about, you know, watch out for the woke, you know, or waking <laughs> up or something like that, because we're, we're, you, you can't let this bother you. If we can kind of just like be more aware of like, I'm having these feelings, breathe and calm down and just be more mindful of yourself. And that, like I said, that's a huge part of just being grounded and being in the awoke you know, the awaken, the new right. energy, which right. is coming in that is really quite nicer, but it takes a while for right. this. And we're right. In, we're like in the birthing process of this. Yeah. That's what why it's so bad. <laughs> yeah. What is, what is birthing about? It's, it's God, I haven't even had kids. I'm having bloody. Republicans or something. What? What? I said, I haven't even had kids in this life and I'm birthing Republicans or something. Yes. Take them out. Oh, you've never been through <laughs> that part. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's but a reason are. for it, too. Yeah. So <laughs> does that answer the question? Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> breathe. And, and breathe, and, breathe, breathe. Yeah. So somebody wants to know, uh, now you heard, I'm sure, um, Sybil, about the guy, the special prosecutor, that Garland hired that put the extra spice in the report that he didn't have to put in there about Biden, who, who investigated Biden's, you know, secret documents being in his garage. And, and he basically said very cattily, you know, Biden is a old, you know, guy that can't remember his own name. And I didn't want to investigate him and take it hard on him or some BS like that. So the question is, What's going to happen to the future of this Mr. Robert Hur, the special prosecutor? I I feel like he is sullied his name and his reputation. He is, is like hoping to not get the Trump people angry at him, or maybe he'll have a position in the Trump uh, White House, that administration. But he's actually, I, I don't see his future going well. Uh, remember, you get in there and look what he did to his other attorney general. What was that? The Exxon guy or something? Who was that? Uh, oh, Barr. Yeah. Oh, that guy. Right. <laughs> yeah. And so, yeah. But um, so I, I feel like he's not, I don't see a good uh, career future for yeah. him. I feel like right. he did that out of fear to either, so they won't be mad at us. 
and maybe I can get a position in their administration. So he was sucking up slash trying to cover his butt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in, in some ways he did us a little bit of a favor because he makes the Justice Department not look so uh, like they're saying they're biased. But I, I don't, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous. Who has, what guy hasn't forgotten their wife's birthday or their I anniversary? Know. And I then know. we don't say, well, you need a cognitive test. And yes. then Trump thinks that he's, a genius or something because he can get up there and I took the cognitive test. I'm not, yeah. I'm not in dementia. Okay. That's how would you, why would you brag about that? But no, it's, I mean, uh, yeah, I don't see a good future for him. Um, I, I just, I kind of feel like kind of like my sense, I hate to be judgmental, but I just feel like he's, a small minded, like looking at a very yeah. narrow part. And he might like, if he was a student of mine or something, I would say, let's, let's look at a bigger <laughs> picture. <laughs> the, you besides might, can I, can I translate that to, to get your head out of your ass? <laughs> can I translate that? <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, Sorry. Oh my God. Okay. Of course, par for the course, because all that's happened, the stuff that's happening this year is just cuckoo land. It is. It's so cuckoo. It's so to, cuckoo. You know, get some popcorn, breathe, yeah. and be breathe. Pretend Both. like it's a bad movie. It's going to be over soon. Um, yeah. Hey, Kevin, thanks for stopping by. And Yaga hey. Movie Review uh, says um, she's even more upset about Garland than her. Is he being naive or purposeful? I feel like he's being naive. I, I feel like this guy is in way over his head. Um, he, Gar, Garland, he's he's a prosecutor. He's black and white, good or bad. He can't handle this. This is this is politics. Politics is so much more chess than checkers. Yeah, I feel like Merrick Garland is would have made a really good judge. Um, yeah, black and white. The law says the law yeah. doesn't say. End of story. He he cannot handle this, and he's in over his head. And and he was the perfect person in there to just kind of gum things up and slow stuff up. So then we could all have a big emergency. Oops, I guess we yeah. should charge them. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly right. It's true. It's like he yeah. was tripping Sorry. over his own shoelaces or I mean, something. I'm sure not he's realizing. a nice enough guy, you know. Um, but um, he was the wrong man for this job. That's for sure. Yeah. Or the right man to prove that we were broken. You know, I mean, it yeah. depends on how you look at it. But um, but he did bring us Jack Smith. He, he did bring. That's what I mean. It's like you Jack know, Jack Smith is like a lawyer. He's a warrior. He's somebody who will win. He will fight and he will win and he is powerful and he is strong where Garland is more reserved and yeah, yeah but he we did bring us, he did bring us uh, Jack Smith. Thank God That's for that. True. That's true. Absolutely true. Um, let's see you guys. Thank you so much for the super chats, but you really don't have to do that. You can just ask your question, but I appreciate it. Catherine is easier to say. Okay, Catherine, thank you so much. I love your baby in your photo. Uh, what is going on with the FBI raid on New York Mayor Eric Adams in November 2023? Is there any there there? So, uh, yeah, that the problem with the Trump timeline in the news is, is that it's like you live a whole month and every day, <laughs> you know? So from 2023, like this feels like 10 years ago or something. Okay. <clears throat> Is there any there there with Eric Adams? I don't feel like it. You getting something? Are you frozen? Or are you, you can, I'm, not frozen. I'm, I'm looking at the energy. Um, oh. so yeah, I feel like he's looking for support. Like where are the, the Democrats to support me? Um, so they, yeah, how will he come out? Um, I don't feel like he's going to do well. Um, I don't know that he will. It looks like a court case. Does it? Okay. Might have a case. Will he be vindicated? 
I feel like he does. I feel like he is vindicated, but I just feel like it's not, it's just not good for his career. There's some other things. It just feels like it. Um, it's a really hard time to <laughs> do his job. And I don't know. I just, I just not, just not feeling good about his future. I just, I feel like he feels like, like, why aren't I being supported? Where's my backup? Where's my backup? Right. <clears throat> See, this is the thing the the Demo this is what I did in this video today. The Democrats are so focused on looking like they're ethical, you know, that they're hyper, hyper vigilant about that. And it's not about looking like you're ethical. It's just about being ethical. You know what I mean? If you're ethical, you're ethical. You don't have to do all this extra stuff to prove that I don't have anything on me. You know, you don't have to be so over, over the top about it. But I agree with you. I don't think he has any support. I don't think he has any support. And I don't, I don't think his career is going to go very well. Uh, it almost feels yeah. like a Como, like he's out. Um, but yeah. I'm not sure that they have something that's really, really, really damning on him. It just seems a little, a little something. Yeah. It just, yeah, it doesn't, I, I don't feel like he'll do time or anything like that, but it just, I feel like there will be some, uh, some looking at or committee or something. Uh, yeah. He just feels like, like, where is, I just feel like, where's his support? Yeah. He's, He's going to walk out of there, but I just don't feel like he he does well after that. So I don't think so either. Uh, and, and of course, there's going to be a committee because they're going to have a committee for everything. If somebody gets a hangnail, the Republicans are going to try to impeach them for it. You know, they're going to have a committee to investigate them. It's just this is the name of the game from here on out. They are desperate. So they're going to be going after everybody for everything. And the Democrats are going to have to get up off of their little butts and stand up and start fighting. It's a street fight. And the Democrats brought, you know, their curling iron to it. It's like, put it down and get out here and stand up for yourself. Anyway, right. That's yeah, how I, I got so fired up today. <laughs> well, I, what you were saying, I saw in your videos, you were saying that people are going to be in the streets protesting about what? About everything. About the fact that they're not represented about the fact that there's all this price gouging going on. Uh, you know, everybody wants to say the economy's doing great. Well, the stock market's doing great, but we're still paying really high prices for a lot of things. People still can't buy homes. It's not a great place right now. This isn't, we're not all feeling like the American dream right now. So I feel like, and, and people are still paying really high student loan debt. Um, there's just so many problems. So I really feel like people are going to be getting into the streets going, we've had enough. We've had enough and choice for women. Right. They're going to get in the streets and they're going to be really, really upset. And the funny thing mm -hmm. is, is my friend says, you know, when I watch, sometimes she spies on her Republican neighbor's Facebook page because she had to disconnect from all of those people just to save her own sanity and health. Sometimes she spies on it and she's like, Susan, they're saying the same things that we are. The exact same things. They think the exact same thing that we are. We're exactly the same opposite, you know, but extremes. But okay. there's going to be some connection there when we realize that they they realize they've been lied to and we realize that these corporations don't have our back, don't care about us, and we can't get good care, health care. All these things are actually going to bring us together in the streets. Okay. It's going to be weird. It's going to be fascinating. Strange bedfellows. That's yeah. what I think anyway. Yeah. And when I talk to Republican family members, they want the same things. They want a nice home. They want their kids to go to college. They want, you know, they're, they don't want, uh, you know, children and families captured at the border or something. They're not, you know, they, they, they just want to have the things now they're being sold fear and, you know, but yeah, it's, it's really, how is the government going to work for us? And that's what the awakening is about. It's because awaking up to like, yeah, they're saying the economy's great and everything, but uh, you know, 
but it doesn't feel a great. lot of people are still working their tail off and they're barely making their payments or the credit right. cards and the right. prices yeah. and yeah. Even yeah. when 45 was present, oh, oh, the economy's so great. I'm like, I mean, I did good because that's, I'm not connecting it to him, but then uh, COVID came and it was horrible. All those people were dying and he was like, oh, it's nothing. <laughs> How yeah, is that going to be economy? over by Easter? It's going to be over by Easter was this big thing. Yeah. It was 11 <laughs> people or have it. Yeah. 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 So uh, look, it's, it, the, the thing is, oh, Hey, Kevin's loving vibrations in the house. And we had Kevin, um, healing medium in the house. Woof. We got a party going on y'all. So yes, let's answer some more questions. I agree. Miss Nan, if Garland had written, had uh, rewritten the report or, you know, like crossed it out with some whiteout or ink or something, he would have, it would have been the story of the century that Garland was covering for Biden's, you know, you know, forgetfulness. So Garland couldn't do anything to that report. That's an independent report. Now her himself, I think Sybil's right. That guy didn't do himself any favors. I think he's really going to have a pretty tarnished a future. He's going to be working for whatever dime store, back corner, alley, you know, company, firm, foundation, attorney, whatever, that'll hire him. It's not going to be, he, he's really, I think he's really tarnished himself. Yeah. And I think, I really think Garland has too. Do you think that Garland, here's a question for you. Do you think Garland is going to, do you think he will step down before the election in November? Yes or no? No. I do feel like he wants out of there. He wants out. Yeah, I know he does. Yeah. But will he pull the trigger? Will he bail? With all this going on, I, I feel like he wants to. But I I, I he's gonna step down, but I don't um I'm I wouldn't I don't know if it's before even though I feel like he wants to, I do see him stepping down. He's like kind of backing out. Like, can I get out of here? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then there's people pissed off and he's like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. That's him. I agree. Uh, I agree. So do you think he's going to get out before? Well, I, I think I agree out. with you. I, I think he wants out. He's like, I didn't know this was going to be this kind of problem. I don't want anything to do with this. I never wanted to be a historical figure. Um, he kind of was always a behind the scenes kind of guy. I know he was the guy that brought down the Oklahoma bomber, but that's because he was a prosecutor. You know, that's what he did. It wasn't politics. It was, here's the evidence. It was very clear, very clean cut. This is deep fakes and, you know, all kinds of just craziness going on. He can't handle it. So if he doesn't step down, which I'm about 80% chance he's not going to step down. However, he could have some kind of health issue. Oh, oh yeah. That could precipitate him from stepping down. And that would make sense. But if he doesn't step down, I feel like he'll, he'll leave in January of 25. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I feel there's a small chance if he could get out, he, he feels, uh, uh, he, he's eyeing the exit right now. <laughs> never be, uh, you know, as long as this, this magazine are still around, he'll never be, um, because even when they lose, they'll still, you know, hold a grudge against everybody. But, um, yeah, I, you know, this is international stuff. This is really what's going on is that the leader of a country that starts for entertainment purposes only, we used to say that a lot, the country that starts with an R has stirred up all, yeah. a lot of this stuff. Right. And he's looking at this international stuff and he's like, uh, he's scared. Uh, I think he's scared. Yeah. yeah. I think he brings extra underwear to work. Yeah. Like his digestion looks a little up to, I mean, I just see him going like, yeah. Like when they close the door, he's like, what? Yeah. He does. Yeah. He's scared. He doesn't even know what to do. It's like, what? But you're right. He brought he in. Yeah. Boom, 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 with all this crap all yeah. the time. Um, yeah. He's stressed. He's, he, he, he does not like, like, this isn't about even just the United States. It's all this international. Um, I already told everybody when in my videos, when this first happened with the documents, 
He's been selling and trading 45 documents. They're not saying that on the news. They're like, well, is this a case? <laughs> he, he, didn't, he he says he can have them. And, and then he goes, well, I can have them. So Trump said he could have them. I'm like, this is even. I, that's on, why I can't watch the news because I'm I would like, be in the hospital. He stole them. He's been trading them and they're all over the place. People died. That's yeah. going to come out. Yeah, that's and, gonna come and, out. And Garland is looking at this going, um, uh, no. Oh, and Garland, Garland is looking at you mean all these Congress people are complicit? Them, yeah, you mean like all yeah. these sitting okay. Congress people are complicit? Yeah. And he's thinking, and he's got like popping the tums, you know, he mean he's got like heartburn, he's yeah. like, yeah. you know, okay. he feels yeah. terrible, he's doubled over at his desk, he's drink drinking Alka Seltzer. I mean, this is this guy is not cut out for this. And and really, we didn't know it was as bad as it was when Biden got in. You know, we 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 saw Jan six, but we we certainly have learned a lot since then. Yeah, yeah. He was not ready when it came. I mean, this should have been boom, boom. We could, but okay, but um. So, but you know, he's not a bad guy. It's just that it was too much for him. But um, the other thing about backtracking to the Fourteenth Amendment. When they're making this decision about can the president still be a president after he created an insurrection and they're going, is he an officer? Is he an officer? Is he an officer? Is he the criminal that broke a law and had an insurrection we all saw, did he? Did he that? Is he an officer? I'm like, oh my God. What the He's hell? An officer in this position. This if it doesn't say he can't. Uh, you know, overthrow the government. What? Okay. All right. So I understand why they're doing that because they don't want to start a civil war. So even though I'm upset about what they're saying in there and they're not standing up for the rule of law or whatever and letting this insurrection on the ballot. But the thing is, if they take him off, what's going to happen to all these congressmen and senators, all these people who enabled him, not just the people in the cases, but everybody else who's like, being investigated. Oh, yeah. everyone's going down. The Everybody's whole going down. Fall apart. So they have to sit there probably and go, well, is it an officer? Is it protecting the third? Or is it, you know, I'm like, oh. Oh my so, God, no. Yeah, but so they, they have to be careful. And I understand, you know, being careful for that reason, but I don't think he's going to be immune. No. I mean, that's immune. something else. You're not, that. That is you something know, else. If you throw them out for the 14th Amendment, and my guides tell me this, it isn't just my opinion. It's like I get a download, so it's not just. But, I mean, if you think about it, if he gets thrown out, what's going to happen to all the Republicans? Plus, I'm, I'm telling there you, they'll do the same them. thing to the Democrats. I, I'm telling you right now. They'll, it'll, it'll be a constitutional crisis because Texas will just say Biden's not on the ballot. And in Louisiana, I mean, all these states will uh -huh. say He's not on the ballot. And and then we have a whole constitutional crisis. And, and you know, we have to just put out one fire at a time. Okay. So get, maybe they're right. And I'm over emotional. Like why? No, I don't gonna, think you're, I don't but, think you're over emotional at all. I, I think that, I think that they decided that it's just like, it's just like Garland sitting in his office with, you know, a Costco size thing of Tums. They can only deal with so much. I feel like they're going to go after Trump. They're going to get him out. I think they're going to go after all these Congress people for crimes. Yes. Yeah. yeah, but not going to get them out. Not with the Fourteenth Amendment. Not with, with the Fourteenth Amendment. They, we've got crime. Don't worry. We've got yeah, crime. I, yeah, I see. Yeah, but it's a what how you do it. Not. So not then we're going to circle about. back. We're going to circle back and take care of the 14th Amendment. We're, I don't think the Democrats are going to allow, after seeing that our Constitution has holes in it big enough to dry, uh, drive a fleet of semi-trucks through, I don't think the Democrats are going to allow that to happen. And we're going to be in the majority. The, Demo the Republicans are literally imploding in front of our eyes right now. There's not going to be anything left. And the few that are left, they're going to be more than happy to vote with us because the American people are going to be in the streets of pitchforks. So that's how we're going to have amendments. We're literally going to change or add amendments because we have to. That's what I think. Thank you. High five Alex. Thank you so much.
That's what I think. It's we're going to deal with the 14th Amendment. Don't don't you guys. We just have to do it one step at a time. We just can't do it all at once. I wish we could. I do think Jack Smith is trying to do a lot of it at once. Like when this all went down, I thought Jack Smith, I knew for sure Garland was didn't have the cojones to go across the water to all these foreign countries. I knew Garland wouldn't do that. And then when they brought on Jack Smith, I was like, oh, I wonder if he's got some cojones. Well, yeah, he does. He's going to go after world leaders. I mean, he's this is a big deal. This is the kind of stuff that causes wars, you guys. This is, I don't know if we really give enough understanding to how delicate this situation is. It's not like we can just go in and knock people on heads and drag, drag them off. Because like you said, these MAGAs will start a freaking, you know, war. But they're not, they're, they're not going to, yeah, they're not going to, but they're, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Has Cannon finally overplayed her hand? Judge Cannon, do you, Ooh. what do you think is going to happen with her? Every time I look at her, I see two guys and they look like angels. So I see metaphors, see things that is a metaphor and they each got one arm and they're like, time, ma'am, time to. Get out of your seat. So she is, looks like she's being taken out of her seat like this with two guys on each arm like, oh, it's time to wow. go. So either she's going to uh, straighten up her act, which is doubtful. I think that's like, okay, I don't think you are. But they're just, they're like getting their like fed up to here with her. And um, yeah, it's so, I, I feel like she's going to, I see her like, put her foot in her mouth or stepped in it, something like that again. But uh, yeah, I see her being, I've always seen her being taken out. Yeah, me too. I'm not sure how you mean when you say taken out though, if you got angels. It's time for you to leave this case. You're not, you know, like, I don't know. That has to be a pretty extreme to take her off the case, but they might just say, well, we're going to have to overrule these things. And then, whatever legal, I'm, I'm not a lawyer, will happen. So we're just going to, you know, uh, reassign something like that. Um, how, do you know how that works legally to reassign a judge? I don't. I don't know. Uh, I wonder if they just threaten her and she just walks away because I've always gotten that she might have a better deal somewhere else, if you understand what I'm saying. Uh, also, they told me, you know, Jack Smith, what he's doing is, you know, it looks like she's kind of thumbing her nose at him, right? Like, I'll just do whatever. I'll give Donald the documents. I'll just do whatever I want to do. But what's happening in reality is, is that every time she does something egregious like that, Jack Smith writes an opinion and puts it in that particular court document. And that is creating a case against her. So all of his opinions are going to actually be presented to some higher court. Okay. And That's then they're going to look at and say, well, she was, she didn't rule, you know, by the case law in these 10 times. This that, is okay. That sounds right. Yeah. So, yeah. so, you know, he's building his case against her and he's allowing her to do, to, you know, give right. just like Trump does, yeah. right? Trump, she, Trump. And yeah. Trump she's being people. paid off somehow. Well, you're going to get something. you just, you Allegedly, know, yes. uh -huh. get all that uh -huh. dark money. And then uh, she's going to hold her ground. She's been doing that stalling for him and everything. Yes. And it looks like she might be, you know, able to get some. like she'll be appointed to Supreme Court when Trump wins or something. She thinks something like that. Um, but she thinks she's going to get her rewards. And then Jack Smith is going to come in and it might take a while, but Jack Smith is going to come in and go, oh, no, you're not. But already he's pushing back. Right. Does that sound? Yeah. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah, exactly. And Celeste says a higher court can remove her from this case. Oh, I, I, okay. I feel like not only is she removed, but I feel like she's removed. Like, I think that okay. worse than I, I feel worse like they, they say. Scenario. Yeah. Yeah. You're. Yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I just feel like they they say if you would like to keep your license. Oh, you know what I mean? Like your choices are. Keep your license or not keep your license, but either way, you're not going to be a judge anymore. We're we're gonna we're gonna remove you. Uh, so I feel like there's some kind of deal that's made, but I don't know when that is. I I can't tell you timing on that. 
um, again, it, it seems like we there's a different scale for Democrats that have to meet. You know what I mean? Like we have to meet some scale that's way up here and the Republicans can yeah. impeach or do anything from any amount of no evidence. So I really think they're going to build a very strong, irrefutable, irrefutable case. Yeah, she is obstructing justice, Diva. And she's not only is she, what did the guide say today? She's willingly, willingly negligent or something like that. Uh, they had some name. Um, hey, Sharon Sype, thank you so much for being a moderator. And thank you so much for putting our information on uh, the chat. I really appreciate all the work you moderators do. Um, and if you're new here, check out Sybil's channel at Sybil Harmony on YouTube. Yeah, it's good to see you guys too. Um, nobody's really above the law. It looks like they are, but they're not. And, and the law is coming. It really is. And maybe right around the eclipse for some reason, I think that could be when karma really shows up to. Yeah, I just, her. I see her being taken out. I see her being taken out. That's a, every time I look at her. I think, I think it can happen, William. I think she can be disbarred. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it might happen because in this energy, all of a sudden things happen. Yes. It's the sudden, like, like you think, and then like, it's the news you watch the news, boom, boom. Like what, what? <laughs> yeah. It's like and pe people are shocked and surprised because they're, most people are not listening to us. They're just watching the regular news and they think, Oh, it's just a slow case. What happened? You know, they don't like it, whatever. But then, yeah. So something can happen very quickly with her. Ooh, all right. And At we, first we I thought it could take a while, but then when it happens, it'll happen. It'll be fast. It, you know what, you know what I use to describe that is Tucker. You know, Tucker Carlson was like, bye, everybody. See you Monday. And I was like, bye, sucker. He was gone. He didn't go back on Monday. He was gone. So yeah. that's every time I think nothing is happening, I think about Tucker Carlson. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. One minute he's there, the next minute he's gone. I love and that Alex, for him. And yeah, and the Alex Jones lawsuits, these lawsuits, Fox News, I think it's being sued for something else. I yeah. I heard that, but I definitely I don't know what it's for, but I I I know they're gonna lose and they've lost these other lawsuits. So all these people who are, are, are doing these things are lying or trying to, you know, uh, sneak around and say they're, yeah, they're going to be going to court. <laughs> Judges can be impeached. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I don't know how they're going to get rid of her. I just know she's either, they're going to give her a chance. You know how they say, I'm going to give you the honor of resigning. You know how they say that to people, you know, like, let's not make this ugly and dirty. Let's, you just go your way. I feel like that's what they're going to say to her. And I really think she's going to take it uh, because she knows she knows this is um, it's a game. It's not real. This isn't real to her. This is really a, a, a she's doing something to get something. OK, let's just put it that way. Um, yeah, right. She's never even had a federal case. I mean, she doesn't know what she's doing. It's a lot like Alina Haba, who's never really tried that kind of case before, up there asking the judge for all these things that don't make any sense for this type of case. It's crazy. Her career is going to be, um, <laughs> all these people have a, like. We're going to be busy. A place in history. Uh, yeah, this this would make a good movie someday. Oh, it's going to make a great movie, but I need at least 20 years. Um, yeah. So here's an interesting question from Kayenta. Kayenta um, will the threat of Egypt leaving its peace treaty with Israel move Israel to back down any? I think what you have to understand is the problem is Netanyahu. It's not Israel. It's Netanyahu. And he says he doesn't want to back down. Um, so I think that he's another one who seems to be a problem. So I see him not being in the leadership position um, for much longer. I think he could be gone by, you know, pretty soon, but definitely by June. Do you see Netanyahu leaving anytime soon? Um, I feel like he will be leaving. I do feel like Egypt leaving the peace treaty does weaken him. And I feel like other countries may turn against him. Biden started standing up to him. And um, yeah, I just, uh, I when do I see him leaving? 
Um, March, April, May, possibly June, July, August, September. So June, September is another window. Yeah. Um, October, November, December, next year. Wow, next year for sure. Um, could be, I, it looks like openings, like I see things as like openings and possibilities right. that yeah. it looks like more in June or September. Could be next, if that doesn't happen when, sometime next year. Looks like sooner, I would say sooner than. Are later. you talking about leaving office or leaving the planet? Office. Okay, office, all right. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I'm gonna hope I didn't for look June. at leaving the planet. <laughs> That's okay. I don't care how he goes as long as he goes. Um, I don't see him there the, the, on the on Earth much longer. I I don't either. And I think it has. You think about the three: Trump, Netanyahu, and Putin. The those the constellation of those three kind of madmen, right? Um, yeah. Those three dictator kind of energies. Um, I don't think. I think all three of them cannot withstand or sustain energy on this earth till August. They I can't just be in the new energy of, to when? Till all, I don't see them withstanding the new energy. Right. I don't see them lasting past August. Now, oh. if, if they do, it's because they're out of that power, that, you know, powerful energy vortex. If they're convalescing, if they're locked up somewhere, then yeah, they may, they may survive, but I don't, I don't, I just, we can't, God, I guess we could, you know, anything can happen. McConnell's still in office. <laughs> so anything is possible. Yeah. I, I, when I look at Netanyahu, I see years, not decades, not a deck, not even a decade. Um, might be sooner, like you're saying. Um, yeah. Yeah. He just, I, I look at it and I, I ask, will he be here for another decade? I get a no. Yeah. Will years this year <laughs> right away would be good. No, I, you know, I, um, years, maybe like a three year window, something like that at the most. At the most. And that's on his own terms. That's not falling out of a window or having some spoiled tea. Yeah. I don't know how old he is. Do you know what his age? I do not know. I don't know any of these people's ages, really. Probably he looks around 70s something. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't know that I... Do you feel that Biden will really lose Michigan due to the loss of air voters? Um, I, I, I do feel like they're really upset that yeah. it, it, it's sort of strange. Cause like 45 can do Muslim bans. He just doesn't have anything for the, um, Muslims or the Palestinians. He's in fact, he, he would probably be happy if they were all wiped out, but Biden doesn't, I, I think it's like the way I look at it, like an alcoholic home, say, say that one parent is the alcoholic. The other parent is the one that gets all the stuff from the kids. It's like Biden. He's like trying to hold it all together and do all this stuff. He does the slightest little thing and oh, you, you know, and then there, everybody's angry at that person instead of, because they know that he can take it. He can do something. He's supposed to have the heart. He was supposed to have their backs. And I feel that that's why they feel so betrayed and hurt by him. But, um, it's, so it's weird. He can't do, even though he's standing up for them and trying to help them now, it's still not really recognized. And so I'm concerned about Michigan. I just, I mean, it doesn't look horrific, but I feel like enough people, but they don't, but you know, do people understand if, I mean, I know they want to push him and he is making changes. I feel like he is trying, I feel like he's a peacemaker. He's trying to, to have a two-state solution. He's trying to get Netanyahu to stop, but um, it, it could affect it could affect the vote, which is giving it to Trump, which is crazy. 
Which I know, but that's these people are so mad. See, this is this is the problem. Everybody's mad. And you're right. They're going to blame Biden because they feel like he's the sanest person in the room. And so they're just blaming him for everything. And they're giving Trump a big slide. Well, well because um, Biden can do something for them when they know Trump won't. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so they're just going to stay home. And it could it could affect the vote. I feel like they will lose unless he turns this around. Um, I think he's going to turn it around. I think he's going to turn it around. He's no dummy. He's got, he, he listens to, you know, yeah, his yeah. people. And, um, and I, the I, other I, thing is, is that he's working on a two state solution right now. You know, there's a lot of stuff, you know, Qatar, Qatar has a huge amount of natural gas. Okay. Enough natural gas that Qatar, that little tiny country can supply Europe. Oh. And whereas, Russia used to supply Europe. Okay. So now Biden is making some deals trying to help Europe cut deals with Qatar and Qatar's. And what Biden is saying is you got to help us with Israel. You got to help us with the Palestinians. So I really feel like the, the problem is Bibi. If we, if Bibi was not there, we would already be a lot further off. Yes. Lisa says, Linda G says Biden will cut off Netanyahu. I see it. I, I definitely see it. Honestly, yeah. the American people are getting less and less. And I mean, the people, all the people are getting less and less happy to send money overseas. They just, they, they don't, it's just, you know, and you know, the MAGAs hate it. So, you know, I think that Biden will turn it around. I really do this summer. Just watch. He'll turn it around. Yeah, I know he worried. This is really stressful for him, and it is about resources. He is trying to work because he has to. He knows things that he's looking at behind the scenes of yes. how this is going to yes. work. But I do feel like it's like a nightmare for him. Like he, I can say, in bed, and, and you know, he's he's worried about this. He wants it to fix it. He cares about the people, and uh, I yeah, I do feel like he does turn on Netanyahu. Not too, not too far away. Not too, not he too already, far yeah. away. I agree. And, and again, right after the eclipse. Now, if, if Netanyahu oh, I, does something even more egregious, you know, like does some more things that are just crazy like he's been doing, I think it could be faster for sure. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Uh, here's a question uh, for, with another cute dog. This is, this stuff is so crazy. It's like we're living in some three ring circus and everybody is turning on each other and it, it's just, you can't figure it out. Right. Ted Cruz is calling for Mitch McConnell to step down. <laughs> I mean, sure. Eat each other, beat each other up, drag each other down. I'm happy. That's cool. Y'all can do that. Do we see, uh, I don't think Mitch McConnell's going to listen to Ted Cruz. Mitch McConnell is, uh, ancient, in all ways. I mean, uh, he's been around. Ted Cruz is just a big, a, a loud mouth. I think he's going to leave. He's, he's going to, but he's not going to step down. He's going to fall down. Probably. I mean, it's just <laughs> McConnell. You mean, <laughs> like, how is he in there? He can I, don't know. I just don't, maybe they just lean I'm him probably. against something. I don't know. Like the screen. For, um, I'm sorry. It's not funny. It's just, I do feel like, um, Ted Cruz is trying to save, something in the Republican party and, and uh, the magas don't really support Mitch McConnell anyway. So there you, let's just pick on that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Because everything's, you know, yeah. But I mean, it does belie cracks in the Republican party. And this is what I've been saying. This is what Kevin's loving vibrations been saying. Uh, you've been, a lot of us have been saying the Republican party is in shambles. It's falling apart. It's imploding. Um, and it's just going to continue to do so. It's, yeah, this is just the beginning. This gives him something to talk about in his interview. Yeah, yeah. They have, it's a message or social media and rather than doing something, having a, something because they don't really have any platforms or anything to talk about. So they can, all right, let's throw Mitch McConnell under the bus because that's kind of a ripe tomato, rotten tomato anyway, or something. Okay, let's do that. 
So do you think sometimes when they do this, this just came to me, sometimes when they do this, they're telling on themselves, you know, like a lot of times when they go out and they say, this person is doing something, it usually means they're doing it. So do you think that um, this is an indication that Mitch McConnell is going to finally man up, buck up and, and stand up against Trump? And that's why they're attacking him because he's just, he's maybe he okay. said it in private. Yeah. You yeah. know that hey, I'm yeah. I'm done with this guy. I don't care what you say. I'm at the end of my career. I'm at the end of my yeah. life. I got nothing to lose. I'm coming out. I'm gonna actually, yeah. You know, maybe I'm even gonna be in the witness stand against Trump. Uh, Mitch McConnell. Uh, okay. Well, I see him backing up. He backs up. So he Mitch did McConnell? not not pass the border bill. He did that. So he backs off his position. It's true. I see him backing up. And then he doesn't step down, but he sits down. And then he's sitting in the chair. And then I feel like he just goes. <laughs> well, you know, he the only time he talked to me uh, energetically is he said, I want to die on the Senate floor. You know that voice? He has, arr, arr, arr. He I want to die on the Senate floor. And I'm like, OK, dude, I don't care. You know, like, I don't know why you're telling me that. Um, but I mean, it, it just means that he doesn't really want to leave. And here, Kevin Loving Vibration is saying, I don't think McConnell will be the minority leader for much longer because of health health issues. Yeah. 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 And it's just, he could have at least saved his soul or something or done something. He could have impeached Trump years ago. And so then he doesn't, you know, and, and then, you know, there we are still uh, two years later <laughs> doing this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes, well, we're going to we're going to get to the other side of it. This 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 eclipse that's coming April 8th or whatever, it's going to clear out a lot of people's pipes. Uh it's going to uh -huh. clear out a lot of these Republicans. It's going to illuminate things. Um Don't worry. This is the beginning right here. The beginning of the end for the Republican Party, which the which we've all seen. We've all seen this coming. Excuse me, I dropped something. Okay, sorry. I'm back. <laughs> Thank you, Terry. No, that's fine. Thank you for that super chat, Terry. Um, yeah, right. That's true, you guys, about Ted Cruz. He didn't care if his dog froze. Yeah, you're right. He left town and left his dog in a house with no no heat because we were all out of out of heat. We had no electricity in Houston. Uh, okay, let's ask about Marge Green. Um, do you see something with Marge Green in the GOP House? Do you see her getting voted out? Is she going to win her election? So she's up in November? I guess so. I think she is. You think she will be reelected? I, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't. Yeah, think I feel like it. when I see her, I feel like I'm going along, and then all of a sudden something goes wonk. <laughs> I don't know. It looks like a a flag, but I don't recognize the colors. But, a flagpole um, hits her in the head. It's probably United it's States flag. flag. Yeah. What? It's probably our flag. Uh, yeah, well, flag I, I don't see her um, getting reelected. Yeah. I don't either. Um, That's the best news yet right there. Yeah. Yeah. She causes a lot of trouble. This is a great question too. Kathy McClintock says, will the Republicans be calm or fighting as the election happens? I can tell you what I see. I see them uh, not even voting. Their man isn't on the ballot or they can't vote for their man or whatever or they're disgusted. I told you guys many times when people say to you, I'm not voting for the Democrats or the Republicans. They're all bad. When people say that, that's your key. That's your keyword. That's how you know we are now almost back in the land of sanity because they're all going to sit the election out. I just, uh, there might be some raucous people, but for the most part, I think they're going to be disgusted with the Republican Party for, for different reasons than we would be. But still, what do you get? Uh, yeah, I'm not. It looks. Um, 
It looks calm. It looks like something else. It looks like the government will work. Um, the voting will work. Um, people are calm. I don't know. Yeah. You don't see it. Yeah, I don't see it. It's, it's, um, I don't see fighting. I don't see it either, but I'm telling you guys between now and then between now and then it's going to be, it's going to be a roller coaster. Uh huh. It's really going to be a roller coaster. There was one more good question in here. How are you doing, dear? Do you want to go one more question? Or are you uh, sure. doing okay? I'm doing good. There was a question. Okay, let's talk about jo uh, Josh Holly. Is that his name? Whatever his yeah. name is, Holly. Um, and then we'll we'll call it because we've been on for an hour. Uh, okay, what about Holly, Missouri? He was pretending to care about children when he questioned the social media heads. What will sway Missouri voters? God, it's so true. Missouri is another state that's gone deep into the whew, muck. Will sway M Missouri voters for what? What will sway them to, to vote him out? Uh, will will he will he vote them? Will they vote him out? Will you know? Will they stop supporting him? Yeah, Gates is another one I want to ask about actually. What is going on with Holly? Just in general, what is your feeling about Holly? In, out, up, down, behind bars, under the bed. Just give it to a straight girl. I I feel like he might stay in office. He I might be investigated. Not. He might be investigated. I think he's being investigated. If he gets in in 25, he, he's one of, I believe he's one of those uh, group of Congress people that's going to be investigated by either Fonnie Willis or Jack Smith or both. And if yeah. he gets in, it's just a matter of time before he is removed. Right. Okay. Because I see him in those zip ties. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He was in, he knew about it. He has information on the insurrection. He knew, even though when it would happen, he just was a little scaredy pants and running. But yeah. I feel like he knew he was giving him the fist pump and he's been, uh, yeah. So it feels like if he gets in, then he's sitting there going, my days are numbered. Oh yeah. no, what am I going to do? Sitting duck, a sitting duck. Yeah. I see him sitting at his desk going, yeah. Trying to figure it out. Like, mm. yeah. like what do I do next? Yeah. Yeah. But Missouri still likes him. I feel like he might, he might be going home. <laughs> Or, 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 you know, in, investigated. Um, but zip ties, you see him in zip ties. I saw him in zip, and they made a big deal in my, when they were telling me about it, not using uh, the metal ones. And I don't know why. Like, yeah. are the metal ones worse? Or are they uh, more, less comfortable? Or, or maybe they're more visible. You know, the metal ones glint in the sun and they're more visible. The zip ties can, you know, can be kind of like, you know what it, I mean? I don't it, know. It may be. Well, for me, when I see stuff like that, I see it as a metaphor of you got legal trouble. Your hands yeah. are tied. But there was that they wanted to make a point that it wasn't the metal ones. I don't know why. Maybe the okay. FBI doesn't use metal ones. Maybe the ATF use. I don't know. I don't. There's a there's a they wanted to say there's a distinction here. Pay attention to this. I do I feel know. like he could be voted back in, though. I know. I know. I know. Which is probably not a good idea for him if you're. You probably want to just back away That's from exactly this right because you're going to be in trouble. But he's it's hoping exactly that things right. are going to go well. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. You're exactly right. Oh, um, Matt Gates is 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 going to get hit. <laughs> Sorry, I what jumped. <laughs> Did Matt Gates what just run sashay, over sashay across your consciousness, or what happened? <laughs> I saw him crossing the street, and this is a metaphor. A car just. You're flattening yeah. them. I'm like, yeah. oh, yeah. he's going to go down. He's yeah. going to get hit. The <laughs> lawsuit. He's got a lawsuit, and there's some gal, there's some lady, uh, girl testifying. I feel like there's a blonde haired woman. What's the question about him? 
I uh, yeah, is is it? I just want to say thank you, Colleen. That's a really good point. That the people that stormed the Capitol had zip ties with them, and that might be why they want to make oh, that connection okay. to me because yeah, 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 they kept yeah. saying, "Not this, this, not this, okay. this." Okay. So yeah. yeah, that might be. But the question about Matt Gates is, the Florida investigator or somebody in Florida is reinvestigating him. He they've opened the case yeah. up again. Um, re, uh, I think specifically around that. Sex trafficking. He abused. Or? He was a sexually abusive. I'm yeah, hearing. Allegedly, I'm allegedly. hearing abuse. Allegedly. 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 Will allegedly. he be allegedly. found out? I feel like he he's going down. I do too. I feel like I feel like he's going down. And I always knew that they would reopen that case up, but it's so frustrating at the time to mm -hmm. to just you know the guy that was his best buddy is in prison. And I saw an interview with that guy's attorney and he said, my client is in prison, but this guy, Matt Gates, has all the same evidence against him that my guy does. Why is my guy in prison and Matt Gates is in Congress? His family you know? has the money. And, and I was like, what? You know, so it, it's just so frustrating. It's so frustrating. He right? is so slimy. When I look at him, I'm just like, oh, I could just see. <laughs> yeah, he did it. I know he did it. But uh, yeah, I do feel I he's he's gonna get hit. He's going down. There, yeah, he's, he's not, gonna, he's go not gonna get away with this. Mm -mm. Yeah. Do you feel like five Congress people are gonna go down, or ten, or do you feel like you have any idea? Like how many Congress people might get involved and be indicted? Uh, indicted or investigated or do time? Okay, so indicted. Let's, let's start with indicted. How many you can always be? up the ante to convict it. <laughs> okay. How many will be <laughs> indicted? Yeah. I'm getting about eight. Yes. I don't, I don't know, know if Kevin are. is still here. I that Ron Johnson guy. guy. What? Kevin said Ron what? Johnson? How do you do those football squares, you guys? I want one of those football squares where we all like take a square, eight people, five people. Let's put some money on this. I can't gamble in Texas, but some of y'all can. Um, yeah, I think eight is exactly eight. I feel at the beginning I was getting 12, but now I'm kind of settled on about eight. You see 12 too, Donnie? Maybe yeah. Eight investigated, not all indicted. Um, maybe eight, 12 investigated. But I, I, you know, I could be Eight indicted and, and then, and then that's when I think, so this is how I think it plays out. Right. So then some of those people are going to say, like you said earlier, this is a little much for me to do in public, right? I'm going to, I'm going to retire. I'm going to step down out of my office so I can deal with this because it's a lot cheaper to deal with something in private. If you're, if you're having to hire security guards to deal with the media, you know what I mean? Like it's just a pain in the butt. So and I you're not as much as a threat. Yeah. Oh, sorry. What? What's that? Uh, no, go ahead. I interrupted. Go ahead. I just said some of these people are going to step down. So what were you saying? Yeah. Yeah. And you're not as much of a threat if you step down or you're not running for yeah. election, then you're yeah. out of the limelight and they're not That's as true. likely to feeling like, well, we really need to stop that. You know? Yeah. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That's I just very feel true. like that Ron Johnson. Didn't he do something? Didn't he? And then somebody there was a guy who led the tours. Yeah, somebody um, was just bringing him up. Oh, I, who was that? Was it Alan? Somebody was just bringing up Ron Johnson to me out of the blue like that. Like, that's how you know your butt's in trouble. When well, I know Ron Johnson. Bring your name up out of the blue. Oh, you're in trouble. Ron Johnson, I think he's far in dark money. I think he's taken money. Allegedly? Yeah. I think there's a bunch of them that have taken uh, money. Oh, mm -hmm. that might be how they get them. Yeah, exactly. Is that a different crime? Yes, is it is. Crime? Yes, it is. Then supporting, yeah, it is. Then supporting, then taking, but are they, are, are we going to indict? Because maybe there's some that are going to get in trouble for taking foreign money. Um, I know they all, a lot of politicians take uh, law, you know, American money, but. Yeah, but they can't take foreign money. They, they cannot do that. Well, so. Um, Ron, Ronnie boy could be in trouble in a lot of different ways. I mean, why limit the number of indictments? <laughs> <laughs> why, why limit it? You know? Yeah. They didn't limit it. We don't want to limit it. And I, I see somebody getting in there, a attorney general. 
I think we got somebody coming in who's going to, because you have to be ready. Like, um, to like, when I look at some people, Congress people, like some people are running from, they want to be in the Senate. I'm like they really want to get out of there. It's a dangerous place to be in Congress. But when you have somebody who's, uh, has a service career behind them, I'm seeing Democrats in California who've been service members and now, and they have stood against Trump and for women's rights. And now they want to get into Congress. So people like that, that are going to be, they're going to feel confident they're fighters. And so I feel like a new attorney general is coming in and they're going to be a, a light in a dark place. Somebody who is coming in, who bring, bring the fight to me because I'm like a Jack Smith that is ready to, to do this. Not like, Oh, I don't know if I could, they're going to get mad at me. You can't be like that and be, you know, some, I feel like those are the people who are really going to take help us, the Democrats that are going to come in and help us take back our country. And they've been doing it. You see them, you watch them in these meetings. If you watch, the, they're, they're bringing the facts, they're bringing the fight, they're bringing and they're standing up for Mayorkas or Biden or Hunter Biden or whatever. And they're saying, let, let me share with you the facts here of what you're talking about. And then they're like quickly... Oh, change the topic from Hunter Biden. And then they go, oh, okay, it's the border. Okay, well, let me tell you what's going on with the border. And now you're not supporting, you know, and even you're, you're like you said, even um, what was that um, length, that congressman from um, very conservative who made the oh, yeah. uh, immigration bill? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is Langston, it Langston something like Langston? Something like that. Yeah, yeah he, there, I can see him, but uh, yeah, he made the border, he you know, worked and he put this bill together and then they're like, no, we don't want to solve the problem. No. And he's like, wait, what? Yeah. Even Chip Roy is going against that guy. I don't even yeah. know what state he's from, but he yeah. used to be like a MAGA Trump guy. And then he was for DeSantis. But even he's going like, we haven't passed anything. We haven't done anything. We haven't done one thing. Nothing. We haven't done anything. Nothing. And so, yeah. Uh, okay, so I'm getting on a rant. Ron Johnson was fake. <laughs> was one of the fake electors. Okay. Yeah, he was with oh, yes, the fake he electors. Was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, and he is going to be, uh, I feel like he gets indicted. I do too. I don't, I wouldn't want to be Ron Johnson. I wouldn't want to be Matt Gates. I don't I know how he MPG wants. Or what? Bobert or Grassley. I wouldn't want to be any of these people because I. the people hunting you are professionals. You know, that's the Jack Smith. That's the yeah. Fonnie Willis. Yeah. Uh, you're in, you're in big trouble. You're in big, big trouble. Yeah. What do you feel about Alexander Vindman, who was the whistleblower? In I that? love him. Now I love him too. Now he's a warrior. He has a military record. He is running for Congress or Senate. One of those. Yeah. But when I looked at him, I thought, and I hope I'm wrong. I didn't see him winning. I'm like, but I saw him getting some other cabinet position in the next administration or soon. Mm -hmm. I see a good future for him. Do you mm -hmm. see him winning? Well, I think the energy can change, but I think right now it's, it's not looking good for him, but I don't know why that is. Thank you, yeah. Catherine. Um, but, but it can change. I mean, it can really change. So I'm going to hold out hope. It, it's his brother. Yeah, Jamie, it's not, it's the other Vindman. There's aren't there aren't they twins or something? Um, Eugene, it's Eugene uh, Vindman. Oh, he's the one running for Congress or Eugene Senate. Eugene Vindman is the one is running for Congress. Somebody know what it is? Yeah, which one? Eugene. Eugene. Eugene Vindman. Okay, so he was the whistleblower. Yeah, was he Eugene the whistleblower Vindman. or was it the or did they both do? No, I think it's his brother that's running, not the whistleblower, right? No, it's the whistleblower. The whistleblower's running? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I feel like he's he's getting out there, but I feel like he's going to be, I feel like he's going to make a good career. He has a good future in front of him. Even if he doesn't win that election, he mm -hmm. will win something else or be in cabinet. I see a really good future for him. I think he'll be in cabinet. Yeah. In January. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. 
it, it look the, the good the good people are gonna win we're, we're in the dark night of the soul it's dark right now it's the darkest before it ever the sun comes up that is all true uh but i really do think that we have the right people in place you know if we didn't have biden and jack smith and fonnie willis and alvin bragg and tish james and you know e.g and carol if we didn't have all these people in place doing the things that they need to do i'd be really worried i'd be i'd be a lot more worried but we're we've got good people in place we just we just have to wait for justice it's just taking the time it takes Okay. All right, guys. Maybe we're going to call it. It's been an hour and 15 minutes. It's been super great to be on with you. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Please subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the like button on your way out. And check yeah, it's out totally the free. Post. What's that? It's totally free. It costs you totally nothing free. to subscribe. Totally free. And check out Sybil Harmony's channel. She does political videos every week. She does healing and metaphysical videos. She has classes. Uh, check it out. She's really, really an amazing healer, guys. And check out all the people in the chat. We had Kevin, the healing medium in here. We had Kevin, the uh, loving vibration in here. I don't know if I missed anybody else. Thank you, Kevin, uh, loving vibration for being here. I don't know if I missed any other to people. Susan Lynn. What's this that? Subscribe. subscribe to you, Susan Lynn, yeah. psychic medium. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And are Why you doing not? classes or something? Oh no, my you're God. Just, you're doing your 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 thing here. I see you on all the time. You're doing amazing videos. <laughs> Thank you so much. I have things planned. Let's put it that way. Okay. I have things planned. Yeah. Okay. And you know what? I will say this. I'm going to be on uh, Valentine's night. Ooh. Doing live love readings with a fefe with Touch by Tarot. Oh, I think nice. it's gonna get a little spicy. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna she's get a little spicy. She's the card expert. Yeah, she's she's, she's amazing. Good. Yeah, so join me for that. Are you doing anything coming up? Are you got a class coming up? Uh, so uh, healing, uh, diagnosing and healing the chakras with the pendulum, oh, nice. and then I have past life regression. Oh, wow. um, and so that one's March 9th is um, diagnosing. And so we're going to be learning how to work with the pendulum, how to diagnose a chakra, how to heal it. And then I have past life regression in April. Um, wow. Then I have angels and avatars working with the ascended masters and the archangels, learning how to do healings and getting guidance in May. Then in um August, July and August, we're going to, I'm going to do, I haven't got this one up on my website yet, but I'm going to do a, um, energy surgery. It's called it. Oh, so wow. we go in and clean out the old stuff and get you in harmony and alignment and balance. And so I'm going to teach people how to do that because, you know, you can't, always, I don't know how people, Every time I get some little ache or pain or something or something's going on, I just am like, okay, let's heal this, whatever. Um, I don't know how people, so when we used to have our, uh, we used to have our, our gifts, we knew that we were energy, we knew and could receive guidance, we could tell when people were deceitful. And then we went on this whole big thing of, you know, which is fine because we needed to technology and science and all that, but it's time that we reconnect with our spirit self. And that's the awakening of using science and technology, quantum science yes, to come yeah. back into balance and to be awake. So we don't get in situations like this where there's cuckoo happening. I'm like, how did we get here? But I thank God we're that's waking up. God. So anyway, yeah. those are some of my classes and that's what I'm here helping people do. I do do political videos because it's my service to give back, but really I'm here to help people awaken and heal themselves or, or if they want to do that as a career, that's what I do. Nice. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but I've just been watching all your spiritual videos and you're out there with all these, all kinds of people doing stuff, amazing things. It's all exciting to watch. I'm like, are, and your wacky uh, Wednesday or <laughs> way out Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. 
So I'm seeing those, but amazing readings. So, um, yeah. Much, Thank you, Sybil. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, well, that's... So you guys check out her, her website for the classes. And you know what I'm going to say to you? Take really, really good care of yourself, okay? This energy is, you know, it's it's tough. It's it's hard uh, time to be on planet Earth. And if you listened in the beginning, Sybil gave you some examples, you know, breathing, grounding. Just take really good care of yourselves. We need you guys. We love you guys. And we'll see you again really soon, okay? Take good care, everybody. Bye, y'all. Thanks for having me, Susan. You're so welcome, dear. Everybody for showing up. It, you know, these channels depend on you. And so you're you're really what this is about. We're all in this together. So hang in there. Do what Susan said. Take really good care of yourself. Okay. Absolutely. All right, you guys. Ta-ta. <laughs>